everyone this is Sarah Fezio and today we're going to be doing a painting with a new paint and this is Olympic one so I'm going to be using three colors this is orange poppy so a poppy colored paint and we're going to be using a cinnamon color. Now, I'm not adding anything to this but water, so I'm stirring it up, trying to get it to a consistency that I like. Like so. So I have cinnamon, We'll call this poppy or orange. Well, they're both kind of orange, but this is yellow. The other one is orange-ish. And I have a pink, which I haven't added any water to because I wanted you to see how thick it was. It still pours off the stick in a stream, but it's too thick, so I have to add water to it. So I'm just going to thin it down. Stirring from the bottom up works the best when you're adding water to house paint. Okay. So hopefully you can see it's streaming off. It's a lot more fluid. This one still seems a little thick. This one's okay. So I'm just going to add a little more water to this one. And in addition to the Olympic One paints, I also have some Artist Loft White acrylic that I've gone ahead and thinned down. So see, that's a little bit uh, more fluid. Okay. And then here's my white. Artist Loft that I have thinned down, and I'm probably going to pour some of that in a separate cup. Some will coat the canvas, and then some will actually go into the pour, and I'm just going to add some water to that again and thin that down a tad more as well. So here's my white. Okay. And today we're using a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Oops. So we're going to put our paint in first. And first I'm going to start with some white at the bottom. I haven't added anything to this paint except for the water. Any of the paints. And then... I'm going to add some pink. This is a satin finish paint. So I added some pink. I'm going to put some more white on top. Then I'm going to add some yellow. Some more white. <clears throat> Some orange. It's like a light orange and a dark orange. And then I think I'll top it off with just a little more white. Whatever's left in here.
Okay, so I have over half a cup of, about half a cup of paint. That's four ounces probably. And I'm just gonna let that sit to the side. I'm gonna move this over. <clears throat> and I do want to coat my canvas first with some white. Now this white's a little bit thicker than what I put into my cup. So I'm just gonna coat this real quick with, a, uh, with the white. And I did wet the back of my canvas and put it in front of a heater to um, stretch it as much as I could. And it's gallery wrapped, so I want it to go off the side. It doesn't have to be a thick coat of paint. It just has to be some paint on there. This will help the paint flow more easily. When I do my pour. Okay, so I'm not sure what we're going to get as I've never used this paint before, but it will be interesting to see. I still have some white in there in case I need it. It's possible all these colors could run together. Okay, so I'm just going to pick my canvas up, set my cup, and tilt. I definitely see cells on the side of my cup, which is great. I'm gonna wipe my hand. I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes, and while I do that, I'm just gonna use more white to coat the sides. Okay, I think I'm ready to lift the cup and let's see what we get. First thing I notice is that the only place it appears I have pink is in this one portion here. Lots of cells.
just going back and touching up the sides. <clears throat> now I have plenty of paint on my plastic down here so I'm debating as to whether I am going to actually pour more or continue to tilt and I can see really nice there are cells in here in the white up in here that have expanded as I've poured the canvas so First, I need to wipe my hand. I don't want to drop any paint on the canvas. And even more cells are forming here. So I might just tilt it a little more. but the stuff at the top's not moving. So if I want to cover the entire canvas, I'm going to have to come back in with something else. <clears throat> but these actually have both orange colors in there, not really any paint. The paint kind of just stayed by itself. The sides look good. And I did manage to get more back into my cup, but if I do this, I want to add more white to it. So I'm adding my thicker white back into my cup. I actually could just save this for a second canvas. So what I think I'm going to do is take my pink and whatever's left in this white cup and drop that in with a little more white that I'm going to thin down. I kind of wanted to cover the whole canvas, but sometimes you can't. The paint is not very thick there. Most of it poured this way. but I'm going to add the light orange and the pink into one of my cups here. And let's see if I can't pour it up here. <clears throat> carefully. And then tilt that off into my cup. Let's try that. It almost looks like a fireball entering the atmosphere or something. Okay, so that's canvas number one. I want to thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and you give Olympic One a try or other house paint. I'm not sponsored or anything. More information is in the description. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope y'all have a great evening. Lots of love. Bye.